committee that decided to form a football club for next season at Bramall Main Grounds. Professionals may send testimonials and particulars on or before March 30th to Mr. J. B. Wollstenholm, 10 Norfolk Law. Now, the Lord's Board is also associated with Wednesday, who will be particularly pleased. They've had many a thought of committed to cure the youth of the land on a permanent basis for many a long year now. <laughs> there you are then. Now, it would be wrong for me to leave without mentioning some of the people who have been instrumental in making this decision. JDA is a good man. He served well with me on National Football Council and he's as keen as mustard to see that this works. WF Beardshaw has also served Sheffield Football as well as an ally. He's not who. He served on first of a committee for that famous amateur club Corinthians. I'm surprised he can zone professionalism in game. But the world, I suppose, must move on. Joseph Tomlinson served Ely Club well at both football and cricket, as well as with me at local county football association. And then Charles Stokes has been another major influence on events. He was the one who taught Red the committee lessons had to be learned from semi-final, but it had been on the whole a big success. In fact, Charles has already had a fair few arguments with about the winter game with that grand old man of Bramall Lane, Michael Allison. Mr. Allison was driving force of getting grounds open back in 1854. Now he hates football, but even he has realised that ground one day has to become self-sufficient. Now, I can't see this new team ever eclipsing local powers of football. They expect to win major honours very soon now. But still, I say, I wish them all good luck. Committee say that they'll challenge for domestic honours within the decade. Well, we'll see about that, won't we? Thank you. Good night.